In a new Being the Elite, the Young Bucks react to their AEW return. WWE announces Royal Rumble 2023 has broken largest gate record in event history. Kane Velasquez requests permission to work AAA December event. WWE announces post Survivor Series press conference. And Nashville is to host WrestleMania 43 if new enclosed stadium is built. It's been a pretty newsworthy day, so I got another video for you here today. Let's kick it off with Being the Elite making its return. After an 11-week hiatus, Being the Elite is back. Being the Elite returned today with its first episode since September 5th. It was announced on September 12th that following CM Punk and the Elite's post all out brawl, BTE was on hiatus until further notice. The Young Bucks and Kenny Omega returned to AEW in a backstage capacity on October 26th, which was after AEW's investigation into the All Out incident was completed. The Young Bucks and Omega then made their return to the ring at full gear this past Saturday, unsuccessfully challenging the Death Triangle for their AEW trios titles. The new BTE episode covers the Young Bucks' return to the road and the Elite's match at full gear. While the reason the Elite were suspended from AEW isn't directly addressed, the episode shows footage of the crowd chanting FCM Punk at full gear. Both the Young Bucks said they had anxiety leading into their full gear match with Nick Jackson saying he didn't know if he could still perform at a high level. Matt Jackson said the past two months were the hardest of his life saying quote, You know, we're going through the healing process right now, but I think that last night was a big step for us to get there. I feel good. Death Triangle vs. The Elite at Full Gear was the first match in a best of seven series. If the series goes to seven matches, it will conclude on the Wednesday, January 11th, 2023 episode of Dynamite in Los Angeles. And given that it's only AEW's second time doing Dynamite in Los Angeles, I'm really hoping that we get that match seven. But now on to some WWE news. The company sent out a press release on Monday stating that next year's event has broken the largest gate record in Royal Rumble history. Saying, quote, WWE Royal Rumble 2023, slated for Saturday, January 28th, has broken the company's record for largest gate in the event's 36-year history. Over the weekend, Royal Rumble surpassed the $5 million mark and previous record holder from 2017, the last time the event was held at San Antonio's Alamo Dome. This carries a 2022 trend into 2023, where WWE set gate records for many of its events, including WrestleMania, Extreme Rules, and Crown Jewel. Additionally, it was announced today that a post-Survivor Series press conference will stream live on YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok following Saturday's pay-per-view. It will feature Paul Triple H Levesque and a collection of wrestlers breaking down the action from Survivor Series War Games. WrestleMania could be coming to Nashville for the first time ever. An article from the Nashville Tennessean today confirmed that WWE has given a verbal commitment for Nashville, Tennessee to host WrestleMania 43 in 2027 as long as a new enclosed stadium is built in time. The proposed new stadium would be the home of the Tennessee Titans. Nashville's Metro Council is set to vote on the $2.1 billion proposal. Los Angeles will host WrestleMania 39 in April 2023. After that, Philadelphia will host WrestleMania 40 in April 2024. And the locations for WrestleMania 41 and 42 haven't yet been revealed. Former UFC heavyweight champion and occasional professional wrestler Kane Velasquez has requested permission to be part of AAA's return to the United States on Saturday, December 3rd. Velasquez is currently out on $1 million bail on attempted murder charge stemming from a February incident, which he allegedly chased down a man and fired a weapon into a truck that contained several people, one of them being a man who allegedly sexually assaulted both his child and one of his relatives. Velasquez has wrestled for AAA three times before. He was famously signed by WWE in 2019 and wrestled Brock Lesnar at that year's Crown Jewel. He wrestled just one more time at a house show before his release. There was a lot on this one, so go ahead and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, I will be back with more of the latest here on F4W Online. Until next time, I'm Denise Salcedo, and I'll see you on the next vid. Before you head out, please do not forget to subscribe and also check out some more of our additional content.